Hello everyone, today we are going to do a problem based on 3 hinged circular arches. Let us read the question on time. A circular arched rib of 20 meter span with a central rise of 4 meter is hinged at the crown and springings. The span of the arch is given as 20 meter. The rise is given, it is 4 meter. It is hinged at the crown and also at the springings. It carries a point load of 100 kN at 5 meter from the left hand hinge. At 5 meter from the left hand hinge, it is carrying a point load of 100 kN. We need to calculate the horizontal thrust of the arch, the reactions at the supports, bending moment normal thrust and radial shear at 7 meter from the left hinge. Also, we have to calculate the maximum positive and negative bending moments. Also, we have to draw the bending moment diagram. Using the given data, we can draw the arch. Now, we are going to find out the vertical reactions in this arch. First, I am going to find out the vertical reaction at the point A, VA. For that, I am going to take moment about B. In this case, I am moving right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and clockwise will be negative. The vertical reaction VA is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So, positive and the distance is 20 meter. So, 20 VA. The point load 100 kN is acting towards the point B in the anti-clockwise direction, so negative. The distance is 15 meter, so minus 100 into 15. Finally, we are getting V is equal to 75 kN. For calculating the vertical reaction at the point B, BB, I am going to calculate the total load. In this arch, we are having only one point load, that is 100 kN. So, total load is 100 kN. VB is equal to the total load minus VA, we have already got VA, we can apply that here. Finally, we are getting VB is equal to 25 kN. Now, we are going to find out the horizontal thrust H. For that, I am going to take moment about C, the crown of the arch. I am going to take moment from the point A. In this case also, I am moving towards right hand side. The rules are here, clockwise positive, anti-clockwise will be negative. The vertical reaction VA 75 kN is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction, so positive, and the distance is 10 meter. The horizontal thrust H is acting towards the point C in the anti-clockwise direction, so negative. The height is 4 meter, the rise of the arch, so minus H into 4. The point load 100 kN is acting towards the point C in the anti-clockwise direction, so negative and the distance is 5 meters, so minus 100 into 5. Finally, we are getting H is equal to 62.5 kN. Alternatively, I can take movement about the crown from the point B. In this case, I am moving towards the left hand side. Clockwise will be negative, anti-clockwise will be positive. The reaction 25 kN is acting towards the point C in the anti-clockwise direction, so positive. The distance is 10 meters, so 25 into 10. The horizontal thrust is acting in the clockwise direction towards the point C, so negative. The height is 4 meter, the rise of the arch. Here also we are getting 62.5 kN. You can do any one of these method, whichever is easier for you. Now we can find out the resultant reactions. The resultant reactions will be occurring between the horizontal thrust and the vertical reactions. It is very easy to get the resultant reactions. We have to apply inside the formula and get the values. Re is equal to Va square plus H square. We have already calculated the Va and H value. We can apply. We are getting 97.63 kN. Also, we can find out its location where it is acting. For that, we have to apply the formula tan inverse Va divided by H. Using that, we are getting the angle. Rb also we can calculate using the formula root of Vb square plus H square. We have already calculated Vb and H. Rb we are getting 67.31 kN. Its location with respect to horizontal we can calculate. Theta B is equal to tan inverse Bb by H. Finally we are getting this angle. In this question we have calculated the horizontal thrust of the arch, the reaction at the supports. Now we are going to calculate the bending moment normal thrust and radial shear at a 7 meter from the left hinge. Before going to the next step let us calculate radius R. Also, let us make one equation for the value of yx, then it will be very easy for us in the next steps. In the previous video, we have already derived one formula for the radius L square by 8h plus h by 2. Here L is the length 20, we can apply 
h is the rise of the arch 4 meter we can apply finally we are getting r is equal to 14.5 meter also in the previous video we have made one equation for the y x value here we can apply the value of r also we can apply the value of h rise of the arch then we can add these two values we will begin in 10.5 then we can take this x square on the left side it will become negative then we can take a root on both of the sides on the left side we will be getting root of 210.25 minus x square on the right side we will get 10.5 plus yx we can take this 10.5 on the left side it will become negative finally we have made one equation for the yx value let us keep this equation as number one we need to use it later now we are going to find the bending moment at 7 meter from the left hinge at 7 meter i have made one point d at this point we need to find out the height for the y value we have already made one equation in this equation we have to apply the value of x for the value of x we should not apply 7 meter the value of the x must be starting from the center of the arch totally the distance is 10 meter so 10 minus 7 we will be getting 3 meter so this is the x value we can apply the value of x 3 meter here finally we are getting the height as 3.68 meter now we can calculate the bending moment at 7 meter from the left hinge here also i am moving towards right hand side clockwise will be positive anti-clockwise will be negative the vertical reaction 75 kN is acting towards the point d in the clockwise direction so positive and the distance is 7 meter the horizontal thrust 62.5 kN is acting towards the point d in the anti-clockwise direction so negative and the height we just before got 3.68 the point load 100 kN is acting towards the point d in the anti-clockwise direction so negative and the distance is 2 meter so 100 into 2 finally we are getting 95 kN meter now we are going to calculate the normal thrust and radial shear at 7 meter from the left hinge. We know the formula for the normal thrust. Nx is equal to Vx sin theta plus H cos theta. For the radial shear Rx is equal to Vx cos theta minus H sin theta. Here we need to find out the shear force Vx and the theta value. In the previous video we have already derived one formula for the slope theta that is tan inverse into x by r minus h minus y we can apply the values here here the value of x is 3 meter we can apply the value of y we got in the previous step 3.68 the radius of the arch is 14.5 meter also the rise of the arch is 4 meter finally we are getting theta is equal to 11.94 now we can calculate the shear force at the point d up to this point from A we are having two vertical forces the 75 kN and 100 kN we are going to calculate the shear force from the A point so we are moving towards right hand side upwards will be positive downwards will be negative the 75 kN is acting upwards so positive the 100 kN is acting downwards so negative finally we are getting the shear force minus 25 kN now we can apply the value of theta and the shear force values in the formulas finally we are getting nd is equal to 55.97 kN rd is equal to minus 37.39 kN in this question we have calculated the bending moment normal thrust and radial shear at a 7 meter from the left hinge now we are going to calculate the maximum positive and negative bending moment also we are going to draw the bending moment diagram the maximum positive bending moment will be occurring under the point load 100 kN this 100 kN is acting at 5 meter from the left hinge here we need to find out the height y5 we have already made one equation for the yx value here we can apply the x value also note that we should not apply this 5 meter for the value of x the x value must be starting from the center of the arch up to the center we are having 10 meter so 10 minus 5 we will be getting 5 meter so this is the x value we have to apply here when we apply in this equation we are getting 3.11 meter now we can calculate the maximum positive bending moment here also i am going to calculate from the point a so right hand side clockwise will be positive anti-clockwise will be negative the vertical reaction 75 kN is acting towards the point in the clockwise direction so positive and the distance is 5 meter so 75 into 5 
The horizontal thrust 62.5 kN is acting towards the point in the anticlockwise direction. So negative and the height just before we got 3.11 we can apply. Finally we are getting the maximum positive bending moment 180.625 kN. Now we are going to find out the maximum negative bending moment. The maximum negative bending moment will be occurring on the right side of the arch. We do not know where it occurs exactly but we are sure that it will be occurring on the right half of the arch. Because in this arch on the right half we are not having any load. Because of that the vertical reaction is less. Here it is 25 kN. So the maximum negative bending moment will be occurring on the right side of the arch. So we are going to make one section on the right side of the arch. This section is having the distance of x from the center of the arch. Also it is having the height of yx. We are going to calculate the bending moment from the point B. Now we are moving towards the left hand side. Clockwise will be negative, anticlockwise will be positive. The vertical reaction 25 kN is acting towards the section in the anticlockwise direction. So positive and the distance is 10 minus x totally 10 meter. We need this distance. So 10 minus x. The horizontal thrust is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction. So negative. Also for the yx value we can apply this equation. Then we can multiply 25 into 10 minus x. We will be getting 250 minus 25x. Here also we can multiply 62.5 into this term. Also 62.5 into 10.5. Here minus into minus it will become positive. So we are getting 656.25. Then we can add these two values. Finally we will be getting 906.25. Let us keep this equation as number 2. For calculating the maximum negative bending moment we need to find out the distance x. There is one condition for the maximum negative bending moment dmx by dx is equal to 0. When we differentiate mx with respect to x, it will be 0. Using that, we can find out the value of x. So here is the mx value. I am going to differentiate with respect to x. When we differentiate 906.25, it will become 0 because there is no x value. When we differentiate minus 25x, we will get minus 25. We need to differentiate this term. We know the formula for differentiation. n into x power n minus 1. For this term, the power is 1 by 2. So n is equal to 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 into 210.25 minus x square. The power 1 by 2 minus 1. Also we have to differentiate minus x square again. Because it is inside the root. When we differentiate minus x square it will become minus 2x. Then we can cut this 2 and 2. Minus into minus it will become positive. Also we can take minus 25 on the right side. It will become positive. Then I am going to take the 25 on the left side. It will come at the bottom. Also I am going to take this value on the right side. It also will be in the denominator. 62.5 by 25 I will be getting 2.5x. We can take this value on the numerator. When we take it will become positive 1 by 2. Then we can square on both of the sides. When we square 2.5x it will become 6.25x square. When we square this value 1 by 2 will get cancelled. Now we can take the minus x square on the left side. It will become positive. 6.25 plus 1 we will get 7.25. Finally we are getting x is equal to 5.38 meter. Now we can apply the value of x in the equation number 2. Finally we are getting maximum negative bending moment is equal to minus 69.811 kN meter. Now we can draw the bending moment diagram. At 5 meter from the left hinge we are having the maximum positive bending moment. Also at 4.62 meter from the right hinge we are having maximum negative bending moment 69.811 kN meter. When we are having positive value it will come above the arch. So we have made the bending moment diagram above the arch. When we are having negative value it will come below the arch. Here we are having negative bending moment diagram. In the corona of the arch at the point C the bending moment will be 0. At the point A and B also the bending moment will be 0. Because we are having hinges there. So there will be no movement. It is easy to draw the bending moment diagram. First we have to mark the maximum bending moment. Then we have to connect from A to that point. Then we have to connect with the crown. Because at the crown the bending moment is 0. Then we can make a straight line towards the point B. This is the way to draw the bending moment diagram. 
now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video